the unit itself is nothing's ever been created like it. I mean, it's one of a kind. The DX backup section, the fact that we can do 500 tons of cooling with the unit. It, on this side, you can turn and see the multiple, each door is a separate coil system and then the big fan wall system. And so you've got, like I said, the 12, the 12 fans in the fan wall. You only need nine to run 100% of the CFM. So from a redundancy standpoint, uh, really nothing's ever been created on the cooling side with this kind of runtime. And then the, the, all the different coil systems, the cooling, the direct evaporative, the DX, the indirect, and then seven units at a time share these three cooling towers. So you've got all the efficiencies of, you know, econo coils, uh, you know, water cooling, and then of course the times of the year when that's not the most efficient, we still have the other systems in place that auto read every time, turn up and use a combination of one or two or three or all four coil systems to produce the most economic cooling platform for any given environment in terms of wet bulb temperature and outside temperature. And then of course on the top, the big red sections are plugged directly into the heat chamber in the building and they can expel the heat directly outside if they need to. And then of course the whole system can seal itself and run, you know, 100% recirc. 100% yeah. recirc. It also can be, you know, if there would ever be a biological attack somewhere in the city, we can seal down the units so you're not bringing in any outside air, all part of the design. And then you can see the cooling system, which uses the towers. If we ever did lose water, the DX sections on the back can run 100% of the cooling for the building indefinitely. And so if you had water for a month, the municipality of Las Vegas you know, wasn't able to bring water to the facility, we can run 100, and, and there's no other data center that could run if the site could not get water for an extended period of time. You know, one of the most important parts of the wattage density modular design side was a design that really ended up where you're going, hey, if we don't have water, will it affect us? And this is the only design ever created that can use See the DX section in the back? So those are the compressors that will run independently of the whole system if they have no other mode of cooling. They don't have to have any water whatsoever. And so we can use water, guys, and run all the cooling off the DX sections. They're that big. That is a huge DX unit in there. Nothing like that really ever exists in the world. Those are custom built. And then next time you guys are here, the walkways will be built here go up in those doors and you can go in and see the big fan rooms and the cooling sections and the filter sections and all the stuff. Right now there's really no way to get up in it. But you can see the big fan units up above. It can just expel the heat outside. It pulls in all the air from the bottom so you don't ever have to worry about rain. You don't have to worry about, you know, really from a hot zone. Because the sun gets, this side gets shaded quite a bit during the year because of the building and then it's pulled underneath. Is this unit will actually run, you know, substantially differently based on the control package. Each one has its own weather station. So it reads the weather in this area and goes. So the ones on the shaded side will actually use different coiling systems for that part of the day than the ones on this. A very, very unique setup to end up having.